What's up everyone, Ed Unet here, your favorite real estate agent here in Savannah, Georgia. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the confusion and what's going on with the interest rates, the mortgage market, the uh, housing um, prices, and um, just to kind of give you some clarity on that because there's a lot of garbage that's out there, a lot of fear tactics, a lot of things you do hear on, on the TV that, that isn't necessarily false, but it's not the whole story. So I wanted to give you some facts and figures here about the difference between today and what happened in 2008 and 2009. So first off, the biggest thing we have to look at is the home mortgage market and what's going on with that. Today, there are 51.5 million home mortgages. Of those home mortgages, 51.5 million, 2.5 are adjustable rate mortgages, okay? Now what's an adjustable rate mortgage? It's, it's abbreviated as an ARM. An ARM is a mortgage that, that you can get into a house at a lower interest rate, okay? Not a big fan of these because here's why. You, you get a lower interest rate up front, but then after a year or two or three or five, 10, depending on the ARM you get, the interest rate will adjust. Well, you get used to paying that lower mortgage rate, and most people don't plan for the, for the, the, the rise in the interest rate. And in 2008, 2009, some people got crushed by the, by the rise in the mortgage payment because the interest rate went up based on the schedule of the, of the adjustable rate mortgage. Today, there's only 2.5 million adjustable rate mortgages. In 2008, 35% of the mortgages that were out there, 35%, okay, were adjustable rate mortgages. And those people got in at a low rate, got used to that rate, and then all of a sudden it went through the roof, okay? That really hurt a lot of people. Today, of the 2.5 million adjustable rate mortgages, only 1.5 million of those um, might adjust anytime soon. The, but the vast majority of the mortgages are fixed and they're in great, great position right now. The other thing that we have that we didn't have back then is today, the average homeowner has, the average now, has 50% equity in their house. That is phenomenal, okay? Um, that, that when you have that much equity in your house, that gives you a lot of protection when, uh, when, when the market goes down or stays the same or goes up. It's fantastic to have 50% equity in anything you own. So in 2022, there was 11 trillion, with a T, trillion dollars in new home equity, okay? Um, put it in comparison, in 2008, home equity went down 3.8 trillion, okay? So we've gone up 11 in 2008, the, the, one of the worst real estate crashes in, in uh, 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 I guess you could say crashes, um, in, in the history of real estate, it only went down 3.8 trillion. So we went up 11, the worst thing ever that ever happened to real estate, it went down 3.8 trillion. So you can see that we have a big buffer there. The other thing that was different between 2006, seven and eight, leading up to the crisis was um, in 2006, the average credit score for a mortgage borrower was 686. That's the, the average credit score, 686. Today, the average credit score for a mortgage borrower is 751. So you can see that fundamentally there are a lot of good things that have happened in the real estate market um, that makes it very different than before. The lending practices are much better. The mortgages are, uh, banking system is much stronger. Um, uh, if, if you want to see a great movie on this, watch the, I think it was called Margin Call. Um, I watched it with the boys the other night. It was fantastic. A little scary, but fantastic. So, but anyway, the, mar the market right now is great. I think we're going to return to normal. Uh, biggest question is, hey, should I buy a house now? I would say if you need a roof over your head, buy a house because if the rates go up, you'll be happy you locked in. If the rates go down, you can always refinance. It's no big deal because you need a roof over your head and, and you got to pay somebody. So I'd rather pay down my mortgage than pay somebody's uh, mortgage when I rent. So anyway, if you have any questions, please get a hold of me. I hope this was helpful and you learned something. If uh, you do need me, message me on any of the social media sites or call me at 912-844-9000. But as always, thanks for watching.